What is up, everybody? How's it going? Matt here from Dramatics playing Fortnite again. Yeah, another Fortnite. I know, I get it. Fortnite. Oh my god, so much Fortnite. Alright, well, this one. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit different. So, the past few Fortnite uh, videos I've been doing have just been uh, gameplay and commentary. Just me playing and talking. Last one was me and my fiance playing and talking. Um, this one I wanted to do a little different. Still gonna have gameplay. Um, and But this one I wanted to go into the background of Fortnite. I wanted to go into the lore more. I really like the lore of games, lore of... Uh, movies all that kind of stuff I really like getting into the background and the lore of things and I never really have gotten into the background or lore of Fortnite I didn't even know there was one really for like the longest time I just thought it was all a bunch of random stuff so I thought it would be really cool that while I'm playing that we would go through the lore so I've read up I've looked I've researched I've done a bunch of things I've read well, I read I don't do that a lot so for this first video uh, I wanted to do the for where I'm gonna do the storylines for chapter one, season one and three. The reason I'm doing season one through three is because they didn't really have a storyline until season three. So I don't know if like maybe Epic Games was like they didn't have an idea at first and really were just trying to make a game, see how it was. The second season again went good, while the second or first season went really well, while the second season was going maybe decided to come up with the story so I wanted to go through that with you guys I thought that would be really awesome and this isn't just gonna be Fortnite you know I just wanted to make this into a whole uh, um, series you know like a whole uh, set yeah uh, that's the damn word I'm thinking of I just want to make a segment I just want to make it into this a whole segment uh, like, so I want to do a bunch of games, you know, uh, the first one I just thought of was Fortnite, because, again, very popular game, and I do play it now. Often. I'm going to play it whilst talking about the lore with you guys, alright? Um, so I just recently learned about all this stuff myself, too, um, by researching it and everything, so I've, I have read up a lot, alright? And I know epic games is always changing stuff I, I hear i hear and i understand they're always changing everything especially when people come out with theories so i'm gonna try to stay as accurate as i can to what they're saying so yeah uh why don't we try and get into this this is the start of gameplay and lore so like let's start this off so first, uh, I wanted to get into, I wanted to mention, and I'm sure all of you fellow nerds w with me out there know uh, what the multiverse theory is. The multiverse theory is the theory that there are many universes or many um, different realities of our universes coinciding and making up what is the universe. Um, so if I decide to eat breakfast today, there's a universe or reality where I didn't eat breakfast and then there's also reality splitting on what I did eat for breakfast and what I didn't versus what else I ate you know what I mean sorry that sounds confusing basically based on a choice that I make that splits the timeline and creates uh, different realities okay so the reason I mentioned multiverse theory is because of the zero point like if not like the biggest one uh, one of the biggest the biggest thing in for within fortnite like it's like a huge deal zero point is like if you don't have zero point you don't have fortnite sorry anyway uh zero point is what seems to be i'm not sure they didn't when i wherever i read it it didn't actually say it was but however what it seems like to me is that it's just a massive condensed energy uh, that connects each reality and uh, basically it's like yeah so like what connects the Fortnite world with our world or every other world and it's located on this island well it was located on the first island so I'm talking about the first island we'll get into this island and everything and I'm gonna try to catch up so I'm current with all of this so the zero point was located on the first island which the first island was called Athena after the Greek goddess and that zero point was under Loot Lake, all right, making uh, the island the central hub of all realities. Okay, sorry, I'm 
and I, it's gonna be a little hard for me. I gotta concentrate on playing. So hopefully this will make me better as well. Like I can try getting good um, while not concentrating. Yeah, see this obviously not going well already. So yes, zero point. Not sure where the zero point comes from. Not sure if it was made or if it was just naturally occurring or whatever. But the zero point is a thing that is in Loot Lake. All right, and uh, it's under Loot Lake, which is under in it, which is it's like in a vault, you know, which uh, which sounds cool. I don't know. It's a vault. It's got to be important. One of the things I thought was really cool. Uh, about Fortnite versus anything else is their story isn't like it doesn't have like a main character well it does but not what you would think it the main character is the island itself like of course you got like Jonesy and everything who's you know like a, a pretty popular guy and you got all the characters in here all the skins and stuff but uh what Epic Game really wanted to get across was that their island was what um, was the main per was like the main character like or what's the story revolves around you know so because of the zero point zero point is what connects all realities together that is what makes it so possible that all these different people can come to this island or these islands technically this is again a different island than the first one I'm sorry to reiterate that I just want to make that clear so I don't get pinned on it later and so sometime who knows when it doesn't specifically say um, there were humans from a different reality, a different reality than ours, different re reality than what uh, this reality is currently, the, what Fortnite is in, you know? Okay. Um, so he, they started to, they found out about it, and uh, when they found out about it, they uh, started doing research on it and found out the potential of it, that there was a lot of power, it was basically just a mass of energy. I don't know if they necessarily knew that it connected to all different worlds. Oh god, a rocket launcher. Uh, should I? I'll do it. Just because I'm feeling ballsy today with Jonesy. We gotta do some chonking too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you some... Ch I'm gonna get some chonking in for you guys, okay? That's, that'll be good too. You guys like chonks? You like chonkers, right? So the people studying the, uh, eventually made an organization called IO, or... Uh, the imagined organization. Interesting name. I'm guessing they wanted to make that imagined only because, like, hey, if somebody tells me about, hey, they heard about this imagined organization, I mean, I'm probably not going to believe them. Let's see if we can get her. Oh. God, I hate how slow this gun is. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, got him. Ooh. Is that? Oh no, it's only a purple. I thought it was like uh majestic, majestic, mystic. So the organization that had first found out about uh the fort, uh, the zero point from a different uh, reality, um, eventually made the imagined order or the IO, and I'm sure uh, people who have been playing Fortnite understand that the IO is just an organization. Again, that was studying the Zero Point, the organization that Jonesy is actually from. Uh, well, John Jones. I'll get into that. It's This man's name is John Jones. Okay? Agent John Jones. Grenades. Let's go. Still haven't seen anybody. So, IO kept studying on it, and after extensive studying and extensive research... Oh god, they're shooting. They created a bridge. Oh. Damn, do I got somebody behind me now? Sorry, I'm gonna get back to the story. Uh, if only...
Ah. Dang it, it's terrible. I'm doing... Yeah, I, I deserve that. Sorry, back to the story. So through the extensive research and studies, uh, Io was able to create a bridge using dark matter, or made out of dark matter, the bridge was made out of dark matter, using the zero point. After creating that bridge, uh, they hired a special agents to start experimenting with them. And uh, one of those agents, wouldn't you know it, was our man, our main man Jones. Well, not the main man, I just said the island was the main person. But our dude, our boy. It was Jonesy, or John Jones to be specific. Agent John Jones. One of his first missions was to cross the bridge into the zero point and to see what would happen when he jumps in. All right. Jones, John. John Jones. The name's Jones. John Jones. Okay, that was terrible. I'm sorry. So Jones jumped in, saw the island, looked around. I guess nothing eventful really happened. And then he went back and made made it back to report to IO. Hey, I went. It's just some island. You know, I don't really see the big deal. <laughs> you know, I don't see nothing. However, jumping in and out of the uh, center of all realities probably has some consequences, you would think. All right, let's see. Let's let me let me see if I can do better this time. I, I got to do better for you, all of you. Oh, you you wait till I explain the gnomes, everyone. I've already read. I, see, I've read a lot already. Like I'm, you know. But oh boy, these little little dirt bags. For anybody who knows, I'm a fan of the Bears. Not like Chicago Bears, but in in the game. You understand? If if you if you know, you know. Ooh, somebody. Why is that terrible? Somebody's in there. I'm going. I'm going after him. That was really? Did he not see me coming? He must have seen me coming. See, I'm terrible at building still. I need to get way better. And I'm terrible at jumping, apparently. I'm just terrible at this game. Nah, man, I'm better than that. Oh. Terrible. Yeah, I'm terrible. I am gonna get wrecked online. The fire from me. Oh! Ooh. Doing terrible, that's what. You suck. Oh man, I only have four grenades? Thought I had more than that. I was gonna make a splody bow. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, I should probably leave. Storm's coming. I got no chunks though. Okay. Oh. Just flipped. Flip my. Well, I'm driving. This is a good time to maybe talk a little bit more about the lore. Let me get back into that. Last thing I left off was Jonesy was jumping in. Jump Jonesy jumped in. Agent Jones, actually. Agent John Jones. Let me be more specific. What is up with my drive? Whoa, what is that light? There's a light over there. Should I go see it? What the f is that? Oh, God. Oh, 
fucking raptors. What is this? Oh, it's a time trial. What do I do? I feel like it's just distracting. And let's see what it does. Oh, I'm a swimming. I'm a dolphin. Oh God, there's so many more. Now, Jones, come on, come on, Jones. Hey, you were the first one through the. Well, maybe not you. Yeah, this is the this is the real Jones, I think, right? No way. No way, I did it. Oh, God, the storm. Guys, I did it. I didn't even realize that was a quest. Oh, no, somebody's shooting at me now. Why must you? Why must you? I'm just trying to get out of the storm, and you're over here. Oh, boy, I don't like this. Where'd he go? Here we go. Oh man, come on! I was lighting him up! I had a purple gun. That's why they killed me so quick. Lame. Anywho. So as a result though of entering and then exiting the Fortnite island, or t more specifically going through the zero point, was a snapshot. No, not Snapchat. Lame. Lameos. Not Snapchat. Snap. Shot. Okay, so what is a snapshot you're asking? Uh, well, from what I've researched, going through the zero point creates a snapshot. It's a mysterious phenomenon. It occurs when someone who is in the loop leaves it. The loop then creates a carbon copy, basically like a clone of somebody and everything, which then replaces the person who's leaving. Snapshots are only are possible because of the zero point. Again, the zero point, a big, huge deal. A huge deal, huge, huge. So yeah, it's a mysterious phenomenon that happens whenever somebody le enters and then leaves the the um, zero point. I don't know why. I never. I didn't see anything about explaining why it did or whatsoever, you know. But it doesn't. It just says that's it does, and it's only because of the zero point that that happens. Right? Snapshots are only possible because of the zero point. Again, not Snapchats. Let's see what we got in here. So that was, uh, well, that was the result of um, what happened to Jonesy, basically. Oh my god, how did I miss? My disgrace. Uh, I'm wasting bullet. God damn it. I didn't even realize he was still there. Okay, he's like, oh, I see him. Come on, man, hit him. What the hell is wrong with me? Garbage. <laughs> garbage. Straight garbage right now. I hate it. Okay, so yes. Snapshots. I explained that. That was uh, the side effect of going through the zero point, was creating the creation of snapshots. And snapshots are carbon-based copies of people who go in and then leave the zero point. And so, uh, IO, unaware of the snapshots, keeps sending agents there, you know, and everything. So those, and those made more and more snapshots, which those snapshots then become the first inhabitants of these, of this island, Athena, the Fortnite, the first Fortnite island. Again, I'm being, trying to be as specific as I can. Hey, sorry, let me, let me, let me, let me see if I can make that more clear. So IO kept sending agents, secret, super special agents, 
like Jonesy, and they kept sending him through, unaware of the snapshots and everything. All right, and uh, these snapshots that I'm talking about are what become ooh nice are what become the original skins in Fortnite. So like the original Jones, Agent Jonesy, the original skin. I don't know all the names. Sorry. All those are snapshots of agents that went through that were sent from IO to study the zero point and to study the other side what was on this side so IO does eventually notice however that the snapshots being made because the agents you know they're coming in and they're like hey I'm seeing other people that look just like me and it's weird what the heck is going on you know so they report back to IO obviously they find out IO then gets worried and then they create a militarized team called the enforcers all right, who are especially trained for breaches in reality. All right, and the reason they made this was so they could uh, was so they could protect the zero the zero point inside, like inside within the the. Uh, oh, I should leave. God, this storm. What is wrong with me, dude? So I have made that militarized team to protect the the zero point within and made sure none of the snapshots escaped. All right, and then they also quickly covered that. Like, so by doing that, they quickly covered up their mistakes and their you know so that it wouldn't get out and everything oh god i'm still running from the storm so two reasons for this was again so they could hide their mistakes and everything and they were also concerned with what would happen if one of the snapshots got out you know so because okay that's shooting is close yeah i got no good guns for that not a good idea. You little, ah, oh, God. Where is he? God, I hate these, ah, oh, I hate these people who can build. And it's part of the game. Oh my. This got dog watered there. Okay, three solos. I'm gonna try something else now. I did not do good on any of those. Jesus. Maybe I shouldn't talk so much when I'm doing solos. Focus more on the game. Anyway, I want to get back to the lore, okay? I'm, I'm really getting into this, and I hope you guys are too. Yeah, maybe I should do squads while I'm talking so I don't have to, uh, <laughs> so I don't have to, when I'm telling the lore, so I don't have to pay as much attention, you know? I got my teammates. So, like I said, uh, Io had eventually found out about the snapshots that were happening whenever they were sending people in and coming back. Again, they made a militarized uh, unit called the Enforcers, and they sent them through to make sure that nobody, none of the snapshots escaped through the zero point to come to their world. Again, they did this to cover up their mistakes, and because they sh weren't sure what would happen if one of the snapshots escaped. So since the island is a hub, in a say, for the, uh, all of the realities, um, it's okay for mul one person or multiple of the one person one person to be in the hub because for some reason that works and uh, so they were afraid if one of the snapshots were to come into one of the realities that reality might like corrupt from inside because it's not stable or something who knows so that was one of the mostly they didn't want their mistakes getting out that's what I'm guessing so after a while though uh, it seemed like nobody was like trying to get through like none of the snapshots were trying to leave they weren't trying to come back you know like they were just nothing was happening it was it was they thought so i i guess thought it was pretty weird um however though the re th this is due to the loop within the island which is like a time loop affecting the whole island and everyone on it anything every any and everyone every and any all right let me put the loop is a time loop that affects 
any and everything on the island, within the island. Uh, upon entering the loop, people are completely mute, which is why there were no voice acting in the beginning, you know? Nobody talked and everything. Now there's some voice acting, that's because I don't know why. That's an interesting point. Maybe we'll get to that. Oh, maybe that's because it's a new island, maybe? I don't know. Again, we'll get to it. Upon entering the loop, they uh, are mute, and also they s slowly start to lose their memories. And, uh, like, slowly, like, not quickly, but they just start to slowly lose their memories. Alright, going with them. Going with Lolo Bear. Ooh, look at the Spire Assassin. Lolo! Yo, Lolo, let's go! Just go, go, low, low! So, yeah, like I said, uh, they lo started losing their memory and everything, and, start, and were mute. So that was what happened upon entering the loops. And the, the, uh, the loop resets every 22 minutes, um, as stated in the Batman comic. I have not read the Batman comic, uh, Batman Fortnite comic, however. Uh, it is part of the storyline. Uh, so I will try to look into it if that ever come if the time comes up where I need to. Oh god, there's footprints already. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys! They're shooting already, boys. What's happening? What's happening? Well, boys or girls. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to assume. That's my fault. Whoever. Guys. People. Dude. What are you doing? Oh my god, what the hell? Embarrassing. So, yeah, the loops. The looping. Loops. We're looping. We're doing the loops now. And I didn't realize that's why they call us loopers. I thought that was like a... Like a bad name. There's a theory I'm, I, want, um, I wanted to add, put out already. Yeah, I'm already getting theoried. Theorizing. Uh, I, want, I think... The thing I think is... I'm guessing the loop... The reason the loop is happening... I don't know if it was happening before anybody came but I think the reason it's happening is because of tampering with the zero point maybe I'm not sure people say it might have something to do with the purple storm that was around it or something um, however I'm guessing I'm theorizing that like maybe uh, maybe tampering with the zero point uh, IOs part is what caused finally caused the loop when they started actually going through like that triggered something Hello? within the island started going through oh my god are we Hello? talking does someone have a mic I do. I know you do, but does anyone else have mic? No. Oh, oh boy. All right, sorry about that. I got into a thing with the kids again. The kids. That's a. That's a problem. I totally forgot about. All right, sorry. I had to change the lighting too. It was, I didn't realize it's getting darker. Damn. Okay, I was talking. Yeah, so I had put a theory out there saying that I was guessing that the loop is the result of tampering with the zero point. So the snapshots of the agents left in the loop, they lost their memories, obviously, and developed new personalities because of those memories lost. Now they were all thinking that they're different people, even though they're the same people. Like, they look like the same, except one Jonesy is wearing a shark suit and the other one, like, is a slurp. So they start making life on the island now, all right? Um, all the towns and places that were on the map and everything, all the, like, Retail Row, Pleasant Parks, all those little villages and everything. They had started making them, started making, like, lives there, thinking that they had always been there, thinking that that was actually their home this whole time. And while that was going on, IO had still been secretly sending agents to do studies. I'm guessing, like, Jonesy, jo John Jones and all of them, again, making more, even making more and more, uh, snapshots and everything. Um, so again, another theory, another little quick, no, quick theory. I, I think the reason IO started this battle royale and all that and everything is in order to try to get rid of all, uh, all of the, uh, ki like to kill off the snapshots, to try to kill them all off by themselves. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. So yeah, like I was saying, the snapshots were living there, making their own home, acting like they had been living there the whole time, okay? So... Uh oh. Oh man, I'm losing my guys. I'm losing. I'm losing them. Yeah, so the snapshots made the island their home, the original Athena Island their home. And, uh. She just has a. Ah, oh, what am I doing? She just has a stupid, uh. Oh, recycler. I don't want that. Oh. No, get out of here, you. 
All right, so yeah, like I said, I think I made a. Th I, I O was wa still sending agents and everything, uh, like Jonesy. I'm guessing. My goodness. Oh, sorry, I'm healing. I have a hard time paying attention and talking. Oh, dude is just still over there. Oh yeah, help my dudes, help my help my team. Let's go, all. What are we doing? Y'all following me? Oh, I can't be leader. So yeah, uh, so I think that IO had started uh, making that, making. I think they had started doing the battle royales. Like I think they tried doing that in order to get rid of the snapshots and you know to try to kill them all off and everything to hide their mistakes. And that's why I think the whole like 100 people come in, only one remain. Then again, though the time loop wouldn't that just make it go back? Yeah, probably. Wait, is that why every round is? 22 minutes? Maya, no! Maya! I'm guessing that's how you say it. I'm guessing that's I'll Maya. Yeah. Maya, no. So, yeah, that went, and that went on till season, till for two seasons. The first and second season were just that. You know, just a hundred people fighting over and over, a loop and going over, loops and loops and loops. A lot of loops! So, season Three. Season three is now where the lore actually began, where, where Epic Games started putting their lore in the game and started infiltrating and like putting it in. At the beginning of season three, there's this little dim blue light in the sky, all right, and nobody knows what it is. Um, wh where is dude? Are you coming? What are you doing, man? We're all the way up here already. Come on. So as the days went on, though, this drew close. This drew closer. This drove drew closer and closer to the island. Each day, each day got closer and closer. So as it got closer and closer, uh, they started making observation uh, area. Observation camps were set up all around. Um, and the observation camps were set up by the UIA, or the Unnamed Organization. So they were trying to figure out what it was, what, what that in the sky was. So I think you could see the UIA, or just sometimes referred to as the government, at, by the players, were trying to figure out what this was. And they were, I think they were able to be seen on the map, but they just weren't active yet, so they weren't doing anything. Alright, we just standing aside until we, until we win, yo? I kind of want to fight some people. I need to get better at shooting, and just the game in general. Ha! <laughs> So yeah, they wouldn't become active until season the next season though, and we will get into that. We will get into that. So then after some time, it was discovered that the blue light was a meteor, dude. A meteor! Like this, this <laughs> coming straight for their, straight for the island. Straight for the island. Coming straight. Oh, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't need that. No, I don't want, why do I need a gas can? Enzo, I can't go. I can't go, Enzo. All the way down there. Oh, bro. Did I just lose my guys? Oh boy, I got nothing. Oh boy, this is this is not good. Oh, I'm a failure. I'm coming, y'all. Can I do this? Can I do this? Ah, crap! Crap, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No! Oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah, so the 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 light in the sky, season three. Season three, chapter one, the light in the sky was found out to be a meteor. So this meteor, apparently when it gets closer, it starts sending Morse code messages to rip people and everything. These codes, these are saying like SOS and they don't want us to know. Just weird messages getting just closer and closer. 
and and it was it was like impending doom. I wasn't even playing Fortnite at the time, and I still remember all hearing all about this stuff. There's a meteor in the sky. What's it gonna do? Oh my God, we're gonna die! And so little bits of the meteor started coming down, hitting the earth or hitting, making, causing damage to structures. And then this 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 would change the island forever. This is where the whole big shebang comes into play all right that's the end of season three one through three y'all that was one through three um so, unfortunately i didn't win a match this time around i need to do better okay that was that was still fun though guys i will get better with fortnite i will get better with talking and playing at the same time like i said i'm gonna be doing this as a whole series this is gonna be a whole thing i'm gonna try to go through all of the fortnite lore uh, I'll try to get it as quickly up to date as I can and then obviously with the more lore that comes out I will update this so I thought that would be a really fun thing and interesting thing to do and I want to extend this more than just a Fortnite so I want to do other games and their lures besides Fortnite but this was really fun I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did drop a like drop a subscribe let me know. I also will be dropping a video of a ghost of Tsushima that'll be my first walkthrough series uh, for everybody. Drop a like, drop a subscribe. Oh, I already got that. If you like this, tell your friends, tell your family, and let, I, let me know. I will make plenty more of these. If you didn't like this, what are you doing? I didn't, I'm surprised you're even still here. You know? Thank you. You gave me a view. All right, everybody. Again, this has been Matt with Dramatics. Thank you for joining me for this first, uh, Gameplay and lore! I hope you all have a great one. And this has been dramatic. See y'all.